Hi everyone, and today I will show you how to farm rogues and rogues military base on Lighthouse. This video will consist out of three parts. Part number one, I'll tell you what our plan is for the water treatment uh, plant. Part two will be me showing this to you in offline, and part three will be my actual raid during one of my streams. So first of all, we're gonna we're gonna approach the bridge. We're gonna approach the bridge right here. Um, depending on your spawn, you can go through different areas. If you spawn next to the villa, you can loot villa, then you come next to the bridge. If you spawn on the left side next to the shore, you can actually loot the shore and then go uh, right next to the bridge. And then we're gonna cross it, right? We're gonna cross it and we're gonna go this way. In such a way, the USEX, which are located right next to the road, right here and right here, they will not see us and they will not shoot us. Um, sometimes this one might shoot you, but you can also lie down and uh, move for a couple of meters and you'll be fine. So we're gonna come right next to this little rocky mountain. We're gonna kill the Yusek, which is located on top of um, this building. We're gonna snipe him. After that, we will move a little bit down and we will snipe those two, this one and this one. And then we'll be ready to loot. So after that, we're gonna cross this road, come right next to this tower. We can loot the tower, we can loot the USAC, and then we'll go into the middle area, loot the middle area. From this position, we're gonna kill another USAC which is located on this building. Um, and after that, we're gonna move to the last building, loot it, go through. Right here, turn around, kill another USEC, which will be on this end of the building, and uh, another USEC, which will be right here. And then we'll be ready to extract. Either we will take a northern checkpoint extraction, if it's open for you, and if it's not, you can come right here to this road and use a long range side to check if the Uber extraction is open right here. So, this is our plan. Anyway, we spawned right next to the main road, so I'll just I'll just push the bridge area. So this is one of the rogues which I mentioned. He can see you, especially if you are a bear, and you need to be extremely cautious. Because when we'll be crossing uh, the other shore in this area, he might see you and blast you. Typically, if you're a Yusek, you can easily run through. He will not touch you, but if you're a bear and he, he starts shooting, just lie down and uh, keep crouching. Most of the time he will not be able to see you and you should be fine. As already mentioned, we're gonna go up this rock and we're gonna snipe the rock which is located right there on top of this building. Um, I'm usually playing with 7.62 guns and I'm using M62. And typically, when your gun is zeroed at 50 meters, you can just aim at their hats and it's gonna kill them. Now we're gonna do the same thing with uh, those rogues. One is right there. We're gonna shoot him. And then we're going to shoot this one. I wasn't able to shoot him uh, fast enough, so he stood up and he went downstairs. But if you do the shots fast enough, you can kill those two rogues without them uh, going and moving in any direction. All right, so then we're gonna go in. All right, uh, I did not kill this one. I thought I did kill this one, but he's not dead. As you can tell, duh. So I'm gonna use a nade 
to see if he responds in any way. Alright, I might have blinded him, so let's push him and kill him. You can loot him, search the pockets, blah blah blah. Um, I usually never loot this rogue because it's very risky. If you go up here, rogues from the middle of the map might see you and they will just laser beam you. So, the safe, uh, the safe area to loot is here. You can quickly check that box for Aisa. Skulls. And then you can go upstairs and loot this rogue, the one which you killed downstairs. Alright, then we're gonna go inside the actual base. We'll check this table right here. Nothing up top. Check this one. Nothing useful. Check shelves for mods. Nothing. Alright. Then we check this place for Aisa and different expensive items. This time we got Veritas coin. And from here we're also gonna kill the rogue on top of that building. Because if, if we're gonna go further and loot um, that area, he will shoot us. Typically, if you are zero to 50 meters, you need to aim a little bit higher and you should be fine. So we aim at him, aim a little bit higher. Um, Alright, I messed up. <laughs> I messed up. Alright. Check the table for mats. Check the bat. Check the table. See if the rogue is back. He's not. Alright. Then we're gonna check this box. It might spawn uh, different jewelry or different stems. And after that we're gonna go right next to this building. Check a couple more boxes. We're gonna check this one. Nothing in here. And then we're gonna check this one. Mm, vodka, by the way. Anyway, I don't see the item. I think it might be glitched in offline. It might just fell through the box, so I can't get it. Um. Yeah, but keep checking those boxes. They do spawn good stuff. Now we're gonna check this building. So the first area is those boxes right here. Area on the floor as well, euros. And area on the left, L1. Typically you can find VPXs, Vertexes, Aesis, um, Bitcoins and Tetrises in here. Then we go up and check. This is interesting. They uh, never go in in online. I have no idea where he came from. All right, 30 frames, here we come. All right, back into the building. Uh, I sir. Cyclone. So I think what happened with the um, rogue uh before my death the thing is that when you play offline and when you play online you actually play uh different versions of tarkov so i think in offline bsg did not reduce the amount of rogues on the map so there could be rogues coming into this building while in online there is like that's impossible rogues just don't go into this building so we'll go upstairs right go through the um metal thing Loot all the tech items. Anything you can find. Then I typically pop into those rooms, check for fans, um, different expensive items. You can also find Tetrises in here. I check the other room. Go downstairs, check all this floor for the tech items. You can also find a tank battery right here. I actually found two this wipe. 
And I also check this place for... For anything worthy. After that, we go outside and we need to kill the rogues on top of this building. Um, you can kill them safely from here. So one should be on the gun. Tap. And the other one typically sits in uh, this area. So you scan it for him and you tap him. Then you can go outside and you can loot another broken box, which is right here. Nothing. And then you need to kill another rogue, which is on the roof. He will typically be either right here and you will see the top of his head or you need to walk a bit further and you will see the top of the mounted gun and you keep walking and at some point you will see his head. His head will be popping right here. So make sure he doesn't see you. He will still keep shouting um, and um, say, say something aggressive and you can tap his head from this position while actually being safe. After this, you're done. You're ready to leave. And you either need to go to the Northern Extraction. Which is called Northern Checkpoint. It's right there, at the end of the road. Or if you don't have it, you have a couple of more options. You can check for Uber from here. Yes, you see the red lights? That's the Uber car, which you can take. You need like six and a half thousand rubles, I think. If there is no Uber, you can also wait for the train extraction. And if you don't want to wait for the train, you can go all this way around through the mountains into the shoreline extraction. And that's how I farm rogues. And typically a raid like this takes me around 10 minutes. Um, I survive more than 90% of the time. And you can easily make something between 400k to a million every single run, which takes you 10 minutes. So yeah, right now uh, we're done with learning and let's say it in practice. They are, they are homage is 250, which is pretty high. And most of the motherboards don't support such high homage. And you need to buy an additional amplifier. So yeah. Man. I'm getting micro status. So, so many of them. So it's quite a bit of stuff. Nine thousand nine hundred K and it works pretty well. Oh bro, if the guy's gonna see me, he's gonna blast me. I overclock everything, just can't help myself. I mean, as, l as long as you know what you're doing, there is nothing wrong in overclocking. As long as you know your stuff. That's as good, my friend. He's not gonna snipe me. <clears throat> and I'm already super heavy. I swear they nerfed Abba Prof in chat. I swear they did.
there is nobody on the gun. I don't know if he's dead or he just walked away. Could be either. Roller. Aisa. You died from hunger? Oh no. Need to make sure that you go and raid with full water and energy, my man. Another roller. CPU, Veritas, Fan, all right. This is looking... Uh, this is looking like a great raid so far. I'll probably do this as well, yeah. Is that this guy is not dead though? He just run off. He did, yeah. Euros. Pew 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 pew. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and tell me in the comments down below if you find this route interesting, if it actually helps you. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.